Hello and welcome to another episode of Advanced WordPress Theme Development. In the previous video, we created the blog page where we used Bootstrap Grid Layout and displayed all of our posts using the WordPress The Loop. And we went ahead and created the grid, and now you can see that we have got our posts being rendered into three columns and then two columns on in tablet and mobile one column awesome so now what we're going to do is we'll create small pieces of code like small chunks which are called templates right because if i had to write all of the code in one file it's going to first of all look very untidy because then if we have to debug things this file is going to get really really long we've already discussed this uh, many a times so so what we're going to do is we'll create a file called content.php over here and then we are going to use that to render our content template so content template add package and the theme name is Aquila I'll just write that okay and then I'll come in over here I'll grab all of this and I'll put that here and over here all I'm going to do is use the WordPress function which we already which we are already aware of it's called get template part and then it, it's inside of the template part so I'll put that and then it's inside of the content so we don't have to write dot PHP just content is fine if you go back and check it should ideally still work great awesome now coming back inside of the content dot uh, PHP so this is where we will display all of the content however in case if the content isn't available we also want to go ahead and show something to the user right so we have checked if half post while if half post but in case if this condition fails which means if there are no posts available we also need to have an else statement right so let's go ahead and do that we have another way of writing this is by putting a colon over here instead of brackets and replacing this also with end if okay so opening is equal to this these two dots for the if statement and the closing if statement can be replaced with end if okay but in our case I also want to have else so I'll just I can just put else over here and then colon instead of the brackets now inside of this we can load another template and we can name that as content none which means this is going to be rendering when there is no content so let's just say get template part and we'll just put template parts because that's where it resides and then the name of the template is content none dot php but we just remove dot php because that is not needed when we use get template part function so it's, this is going to include that template for us over here so if there are no post this is what is going to be rendered and over here inside of our content none what we can do is we can first go ahead and write the file comment we can put the template part for displaying a message that posts cannot be found and then add package Aquila okay and then we can create a section give it a class of no result on and not found not found and inside of this we can have a header and we can give it a class of page header and then inside of this we can have an h1 with a class of page title and we can just say 
escape HTML E which will escape this for me and also echo it out nothing and also do the translation by the way we'll come back regarding the translation later and then we'll put the text domain which is Aquila okay so this is our header uh, and then we can also say div page content and inside of this and then again we'll open a PHP tag and we're going to check if is home if it's a home page which is a blog page and current user can publish posts so this function basically checks if the current user can publish posts and then what we will do is we'll open a p tag and inside of this I can say printf oops printf okay and we have a function in WordPress called WP kisses yes <laughs> it's called kisses okay so WP kisses so let me show you what it does so this function basically filters the text content and strips out the disallowed HTML so we basically use this function to ensure that you know there are no unwanted HTML or script tags etc it's only going to accept those tags that we pass so let's say if we say that we're going to only allow anchor tag then it's is going to go ahead and strip out any other tags apart from the anchor tag okay so that's why it is used to filter the HTML entities and then it takes different parameters so the first thing is going to take if you check the function is the string you want to print and then allowed HTML so I want to print I'll use translation function and then it takes second parameter which will be an array of the allowed tags so I want to allow only a tag and inside of a tag I want to allow the attributes so it also takes care of the attributes like which attributes you want to allow so let's say ready to publish your first post and then question mark and let's also put a hrf and then instead of hrf we'll use percentage one dollar s okay in fact even percentage s is fine and then get started here and then closing tag closing a tag and then comma and then aquila Aquila is my text domain. Okay, so what this is going to do is going to take printf, it's going to replace the percentage s with the value uh, of the hrf, which we will pass here as the second parameter. So printf comma, I will say escape URL. So we'll escape the URL, and then we'll say admin URL. So we're going to pass the admin URL of post dash new dot php so uh, in fact we want to show a link where the admin can click on this link and uh, create a new post okay so that's what's going to, hap going to happen over here okay first of all let me show you how this looks like so of course this will not print because we do have posts so what we can do is we can copy this and probably uh, display it over here so that at least we get this being displayed get this on the page so that we can see what it what it is displaying so go back and check you can see that if the post is not found it's going to return nothing found and then it clicks 
if you click on this it takes you to the uh, admin new page because that's what's the post new page so you can create a new post since I'm already logged in uh, it's showing that uh, this particular link see right so it takes me to create a new page onto my dashboard okay if I'm logged out then it's not going to show that but if I'm logged out I should also display something so we have if condition in case if you are on the blog page and uh, if it's not the admin sorry if it is admin if it is not the admin then I want to display something for the regular users as well who are not logged in so I can say over here that else if and then opening and closing sorry closing and opening I want to be able to write some HTML over here else if and then I have to put a condition also over here is search if it's a search page then do something like first escape HTML E sorry but nothing matched your search item please try again with some different keywords so I know we have not discussed the search uh, you know right now the search feature Quilla. so but we'll come back to that when we do is search is going to check if you are on the search page if it is then it's going to display this message at the same time you can also get the search form by using the get search form function so you can say that get search form so we haven't created the search page however this is going to display that uh, the form for you using the get search form and again uh, otherwise if you're not on the search page then we want to display something else as well we can just copy this paste it here and just change the message saying that it seems that we cannot find what you are looking for perhaps search can help okay so let's see what we get uh, if you refresh and if you go down uh, currently since I'm logged in it's not going to go into any of these conditions so I have to log out first I can open this in incognito mode so that I don't have to log out that will be considered as logged out so now I'm logged out and if you scroll down now you can see that you have a search bar available right so you can search it but we will come back to that later but you know that it exists you can type in and you can search information we'll get into the detail of it later on and probably use get search form on the top as well but uh, don't do that right now uh, we'll come back to that but uh, you can see that it says it seems nothing we can we cannot find what you're looking for perhaps perhaps search can help okay awesome great so let's close that so we have created the content none.php and then we have also created the content.php so let's just get rid of this for now and then we've also created the content.php this is where we'll be serving the entire content of the post okay great so I hope uh, I think this was clear to you in this video and the next video we'll get into more detail of creating smaller chunks of code smaller templates to display the read more taxonomies etc okay so I hope you did like the video if you did please give a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you aren't already and I'm gonna see you in the next video thank you very much bye bye <music>